Welcome back. This is your Feel Good Breakfast Show Express on SABC3. Thanks for joining us at the start of another brand new day. Always oh, so good to be in your company. Let's talk toys right now. And toys, of course, can do more than just pass the time. We can use play to learn more about the world around us and develop skills through technology. So my favourite friend in technology, Grant Hines, joins us this morning to tell us about some of the great educational tech that is available for youngsters out there. And this is a very, very exciting time as well um, for youngsters to find new ways of learning new things. And parents in this new normal yeah a hundred percent because you're spending time at home and i don't like the the word educational toys always sounds so boring yeah right? you, like it's you not it? yeah you want to you want to learn by accident and having the right toys allows you to learn by accident. And I think even as adults, we always learn through play. You know, yeah, you always yeah. have these moments where like, you know, you're excited because you want to build a puzzle at home. Yes, and, yes, uh, yes. And like you just, when you when you are vulnerable like that, you get to learn so, stuff. And yeah. technology is a great uh, vehicle for that. Yeah, yeah, I think I think accidentally and statistically, people have learned a lot more through 30 seconds than anything else. Oh, about, the, about relationships, 100%. <laughs> <laughs> All right, but let's leave it to the tech right now. Let's talk about something called the make Block MBOT Smart Robot Kit. Okay, yeah, so this is a very good example of technology that you can use that can help you build stuff. Yeah. Or at least you can learn engineering with. So it's got an Arduino in it, and th what you're seeing on screen now is a very simplified version of what it can possibly do. Because there's a robot, a motor, it's got all the bare bone basics of something that you can use. You can program it to do certain things. People have used this device to program it to illustrate uh, like a really complicated drawings. Uh, you, can, you can get it to uh, if you have a speaker you can get it to like talk to you you can get it to do quite a lot of things wow. literally it's up to your imagination it literally it's it's the it's the blueprint for a, a lot of things that you can end up doing and it's crazy. I, I recommend going to have a look at what people have done with it and yeah. if you are interested if you're technically inclined or your child is technically inclined something similar to this might be great because there's a, there's a lot of coding as well so you can learn what? basic coding on it to get it to do stuff and then learning those languages will really set your your child up for a future in an industry where it's web development, uh, robotics, uh, technical engineering, IT. And Basically the future. And, and literally they're going to be learning and, and not wanting to go to bed because they're going to be doing it so much. Wow. Okay. I like that. I like that. Then the Anki Cosmo robot. What is so, that all about? So this is this is very interesting. You remember the Tamagotchi? Of course. Yeah. Right. Okay. Who so doesn't? <laughs> yeah. We, we all we all had that. This is like this generation's Tamagotchi okay. in some ways. So it's this uh, robot that can interact with you and has machine learning in it. So they kind of talk about it as being your ultimate accomplice. So it can like follow you around the house. It can do things. Things. It can learn how to relate to you. You can teach it how to behave. So not, it's not really like a technical scientific STEM project, mm -hmm. but it's more of a, an emotional project. So Yo, the can... reveal video was so dramatic. <laughs> when the lights went on, I went, <gasps> I gasped. That's incredible. Wow. So if Wally was real and in your house, this would probably be it. Wowzers, wowzers. Okay, all right. Um, not sure how I feel about that one exactly, but okay, cool nonetheless. Hey, machines can teach us EQ as well. That's very true, actually. I never thought about it like that because you always think of, of machines and technologies as cold, metallic, That's digital why I, world. These words, with I don't no like tactile. these words. Like educational toys, and like we we gotta like start ripping that away and just start seeing these things for what they are. Yeah, I did love my tam tamagotchi though. Yo, me yeah. too. What does it right. say? Um, wow, that was a very long time ago. I think <laughs> I had a few because every time I'd, I'd had to revive. So you kill them and then. Um... I didn't kill it. Okay, I just forgot to clean the poop. Um, anyway. What about the Jushin handheld digital microscope? That sounds something very... Yeah, exciting. this is actually super cool. Like a lot of, um, when you go into bio class or something at school, natural sciences, you don't really get to see what the teacher's talking about. You see images of it. That's um, true. But literally those things are all around us, like cellulose and plants is all around us. We actually have it all here, like in the studio. And using a microscope like this digitally means that you can record and capture and look at uh, the, the natural world closely. And this goes up to a thousand times zoom so you can literally like when you got your biology textbook in front of you you can look at the things that you're talking about in real life and learn for yourself wow. I am a, I'm a physical learner I've got a, and I'm a visual learner so I have to see these things in real life 
And that, that's why I did well at biology, because I, like, I'd like to go on excursions and I'd like to go around the garden, I'd like collect snails. Yeah, and my mom yeah, was yeah, like, yeah. what are you doing? Um, <laughs> and like having a microscope like that would be able to open up a world that previously wasn't available to us. We never had that kind of stuff. That's right. absolutely incredible. And those are just but some of the cool learning, experiential learning toys. Let's call it that, experiential learning toys go. that are available out there. And thanks very much to you, Grant, for uh, shining the light on it. And there you have it, moms and dads out there, some great learning experience toys that are available for your kids. And uh, of course, we're using play as a means of educating ourselves in this new normal. Now, let's find out how else kids can have fun through running as their favorite superhero.